I got the bag. Like, I'm going to this is a sambusa. It is like a samosa. We're going to get home and I'm going to show you guys what I got to eat. It's so good. I'm so excited. It's six o'clock and we're gonna go get some food. Remember I told you that last video, Desta's was like the spot. So guess where we're going? Desta's! So excited to get food. Go Desta. Grab and go cocktail. What? So I really like Desta. Yes, please. I really like Desta because they're taking everything serious. No, we're good. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, we paid over the phone. Oh, you did? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. The and everything? yes. Let's double check it. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so I really like Desta because they got their workers just out here ready and then I can see the hand sanitizer in the back, people wearing masks, gloves, the whole night. I really feel safe and comfortable eating here. So we're gonna go home and I'm gonna show you guys what we got to eat. I got the bag, I got the bag, I'm so excited, I got the bag. Look at it, it's just warm and nice and delicious so in the bag. Gotta wash my hands first. Let's get into it. All right, so here is the sambusa, which is a lentil. It's basically a lentil spring roll. Kind of samosa-like, because it's lentils. It's also got chickpea in it. Same thing. She got rice, which is in this little thing here. And I got injera. Look at that. <laughs> It's an acquired taste, but I like it. What it is, is if you've ever seen Ethiopian food, you would know, like it makes sense. But basically it's, you get this bread and they roll it out. If you have trypophobia or whatever that thing is with the holes, this bread is probably not for you. So trigger warning, but it's kind of like sourdough. It has like a sourish kind of taste to it. I didn't like it at first. I didn't like it the second time, but the third time I ate it, I was like, all right, I can get into it. And then we have the main course. So I got this thing called Tibbs. It comes with a side. It's your meat and a side. They got lamb, chicken, shrimp, steak, different types of fish, all kinds of meats. So, ooh, it looks so good. This is my food here. So this is the salmon and this is the miser, which is I think like lentils in some kind of paste. But I added a waze. I don't know if I'm saying this right because I'm not Ethiopian, so don't get mad at me. Sorry. A waze, A W A Z E, which is like a spicy sauce. I added shiro, which is like a grounded chickpea sauce, I believe. And then I have my salmon, my injera, and my misir, which is some kind of lentil thing in like tomato paste. So I decided to warm my food. In the meantime, I'm gonna try the sambusa. It comes with this sauce. I don't really know what the sauce is, but it has some pepper to it, and I love spice. So dip it in the sauce. Just dip that. The most obnoxious machine. It's really flaky. You probably can't really see the inside, but there's lentils in there. Now you can kind of see the lentils a little bit more. They're brown. Is the sauce very spicy though? Oh, no. Because you know, I'm not one to ask about spice and not one. 
So you can have as much injera as you want. So basically you take the injera. Typically it would be laid out and you put the stuff on top of it and eat. I'll show a picture. This is how it's normally done. And then you just take like your paste. A lot of their food is like pasty, at least from my experience and what I've seen. It's like different types of pasty. So you just kind of put it on there, just like that. That's the misir, the lentil stuff I was telling you guys about. So then you just kind of wrap it up, wrap it up on there <clears throat> and just eat it. And just like that, it tastes great. Normally I put some potatoes in mine, but I didn't do that this time. It also can come with pita bread. And that's not really a Ethiopian thing, but I already had pita bread at home, so now it's spoiled. Man, my aunt made me carrot juice yesterday. And I was so excited, like I had rum in it. And it was so good, and now my carrot juice is spoiled because I put it in a thermos and it wasn't supposed to, so it has like this sour taste. And that's really sad. Thank you. You're welcome, are you done? You didn't have to do that. Yeah, that's all you. That was so kind of you. She gave me her carrot juice, well, some of it. This right here is a Jamaican specialty, okay? Carrot juice, if you want the recipe, let me know in the comments below. It sounds kind of weird, but it's actually really good. It's kind of like... <laughs> Nothing, it's amazing itself. But if I had to describe it to like an American drink, I'd say it's like eggnog, depending on how you make it. <laughs> eggnog is... Okay, maybe that's not... You just have to try it. Don't knock it until you try it. Carrots, sugar, however you do it, it's real good. It's just... It's basically a smoothie, okay? I guess to an American drink you could say that. Hmm? To an American drink, I guess you could say that. Like, that's the closest the thing I can, I think, it's a consistency is like an eggnog. So, like, that's the closest thing to an American thing that I can think of. I would think of it more like a, what's the mango drink that they get in you? Oh, mango lassi? If you and if you know Indian food and you've ever had like a mango lassi, it's kind of like a mango lassi but made with carrots. Mango lassi is good. You just gotta get into different cultures, get into different foods, cause it's good. Anyway, that's all for this vlog right now. I'm just gonna eat my food, cause as you can see, I'm really getting into it. Thank you for watching my vlog. Thank you for coming to my channel. Please subscribe below. Like, comment, share. Share with your friends. Share with your grandma. Share with your family. I don't really care who you share it with. Impress really.